Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. We are on the heels of Jeffrey's anniversary party that is taking place very soon. He is celebrating one year of his store being open in Casper, Wyoming. And our girl, Ms. Cooney, is flying out to Wyoming to join in on the festivities. One of you tweeted me some giant ass video. Um, as you can see, this thing is like two and a half hours long. I don't know what this video is about. There are cracks. Uh, oh, there's crack. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know what this video is about, but what? Oh, okay. I'm in the two. Okay. Um, but what we are going to take a look at is the first couple minutes of this. We're going to take a look and see what Jeffrey, Paul, and another person who I don't recognize are saying about Eugenia prior to this event occurring. Um, it's pretty gross. It's pretty gross. Um, I'm going to share my personal thoughts on it and everything. But uh, yeah, going to take a look at this little clippy clip right here. And then we're going to take a look at some other things. Let's get started. Okay, some type of copyright. <laughs> yes, do I. I just can't wait for six to peg Eugenia. <laughs> <laughs> Same. That's like all I want. Can you imagine? All I want for Christmas. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's like, yes, <laughs> I can hear her now. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Hi. So in this video, what's taking place is um, Jeffrey, Paul, and some other miscellaneous person are sitting around talking about one of their friends uh, pegging Eugenia. This person's name is Six. I, I don't know who this is, but yeah. They want their friend who is named Six or goes by Six to peg Eugenia. And in true being friends with Jeffrey fashion, whenever he says literally anything, you better crack up. You better show him that what he said was extremely enthralling, very entertaining, very funny. So yeah, the one in the uh, white tank top here starts cracking up and I don't know, we can't really see Paul's face, but I would imagine that he is laughing as well. So, yes, three grown men sitting around on TikTok Live talking about how they should have their soon-to-be 30-year-old friend, who is a woman, pegged by someone else. Um... I think that Jeffrey is someone ha that has gotten a lot, gotten away with a lot of things, saying a lot of things over the years because he is a gay person. I think that because he puts on all the makeup and the wigs and he pre and he presents as a very queer person, that kind of gives him a free pass to say whatever he wants. But you know, at the end of the day, I don't really care. If you're gay, I really don't care if you wear makeup. I don't really care if you wear wigs. I don't really, I don't think that you should be able to get away with talking about things like this. Like, I understand that you think it's a joke and you think it's funny and everything. But I mean, this is supposed to be your friend. This is supposed to be someone that you care about. You know, I mean, last year, Jeffrey was on TikTok crying about Eugenia saying, oh my gosh, she's so happy, blah, blah, blah. Um, and now they're sitting around talking about how she um, would be funny to witness being pegged by uh, one of their friends. So it's gross. It's not called for. Um, I could see maybe this being funny to a lot of middle schoolers you know, maybe like age 13, age 14, like kind of making those crude locker room-esque jokes, but um, certainly not someone that is pushing 40 on a TikTok live. So, you know, you really got to beg the question, like, what are you doing, guys? What are you doing? Um, but I mean, this is why they're friends with Eugenia. 
This is why they're friends with her. They think that she's funny. They think that she looks funny. They think that she acts funny. They think that it is funny that she is so obedient to Jeffrey. And this is how their friendship started. Lest we forget, their friendship quite literally started by Jeffrey winning a TikTok battle against Eugenia and the loser having to leave the room. So they beat her in this TikTok battle and then said, 5150, get the bitch out of here. So, yeah, that's kind of how their friendship started. And, you know, it seems a year later, they are still following suit with the same kinds of things. Oh, sis, how are you feeling? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I can, you know, it's nothing I more love more than just a good pegging. <laughs> I'm going to hear it. Uh, I love it here. I'm, I'm in bed and Mama is so watered. Oh, honey, I bet. I bet. And so probably. Yeah, so uh, that was the conversation between these three people laughing about the hypothetical situation of Eugenia basically being essayed by someone. Um, you know. Tailor it how you will, say it how you will. Oh, we were kidding. But I mean, at the end of the day, you guys are three grown men sitting around talking about how it would be funny for Eugenia to be. Uh, you know, it's just like at, at one point, I, I don't know who this is right here in the white tank top, but the fact that he like took his fist and like imitated the peg, like, what is wrong with you? So, I mean, this is just furthering my point when I say that the only reason they keep Eugenia around, the only reason that they invite her to things is so that they can make fun of her. And, you know, I mean, you, you kind of witness that behavior in middle school, maybe like high school age, um, where someone doesn't really have a lot of friends or they're kind of a social outcast or they have a hard time relating to other people, but maybe they're set off easily. Maybe they have a temper. Uh, maybe they're just a little bit weird, a little bit not all there. So that's kind of how I see this. I see this as a group of popular kids who are inviting someone that they otherwise would not hang out with along to their festivities so that they can make them the butt of the joke, so that they can laugh at them, they can make fun of them. So um, I don't think that these three think that Eugenia is on the same level as them, makeup-wise, beauty-wise, any-wise. I think that they like to just Make fun of her. Make fun of her appearance, the way she acts, quite literally anything. So, yeah. This is what Jeffrey has been up to. I know we haven't covered him in a while, but, uh, yeah, he's sitting around talking about hypothetical situations that uh, should happen to Eugenia when she comes to his anniversary party that is upcoming. So, uh I wanted to get a little bit more context on this video. I don't really know what this is. Again, it was some giant file video that one of you tweeted me and I just kind of looked through it and everything. So I actually sent a direct message to this person asking, hey, like, do you know who made this video? Where did this come from? And then I thought, well, I mean, they didn't DM me back in time. So I thought, well, you know what? If anyone's going to know where this gigantic video came from, it's probably going to be our friends on Reddit. So I went over to... Uh, Reddit, see if, you know, any of them were talking about this video that was posted and everything. Sure enough, this video was posted on there, and um, they had some things to say as well. A lot of the comments were uh, shared with some of the opinions I just expressed. Uh, but another thing that I saw on Reddit while I was looking for this two and a half hour file that was sent to me, um, came across this. This is a very interesting thing. And if you know what has gone on with my channel recently, this kind of 
hits close to home. So someone posted a video of Eugenia saying something recently, and uh, apparently their comment or their video or something that they posted on Reddit was removed and their account was given a strike. I didn't even know that your account could receive strikes on Reddit, but apparently it can. So, um, what I'm getting, what what this post is kind of getting at here is that they posted a video of Eugenia saying something, and it was controversial. She probably shouldn't have said it. She probably, you know, it was some years ago, and now she realizes, oh gosh, I don't want that on the internet anymore. So anyone who posts this video, anyone who talks about this video. Uh, we are going to go after them. So this is the exact thing that I encountered when we did those couple streams on Jeffrey's controversial past. There are some videos, I think that there's, yeah, they're probably still up on my channel if you go in the live tab. There are videos that we did of a live stream of Jeffrey's past where we went back and we watched all of this old stuff of when he was like in his MySpace heyday. Um, and he said a lot of interesting things back then. Um, one of which I remember very clearly that I received a copyright claim for is there was a video that we watched on one of those live streams where he was walking on a sidewalk and someone was interviewing him. And they said, Jeffrey, do you have anything that you would like to say to us? And Jeffrey said, um, I love you. Grape me. The G is silent. I love you. Grape me. He, he says this to this person. Uh, really, really, really weird video. I guess he was trying to be edgy. I guess he was trying to be quirky, funny, whatever. Um, but when I played that video on YouTube on my live stream, that video got copyright claimed. And I thought, that's weird. A video shot on a shaky Motorola Razor um, 17 years ago. That footage is owned by someone. And I thought, well, there's no way that the person that took this footage 17 years ago like has it copyrighted and everything. So here's what I think. I think that Eugenia and Jeffrey have a lot of their old videos when they have said controversial things copyrighted. Because they don't want people putting it out on the internet. They don't want people reacting to it. They would rather erase it so that everyone forgets about it. So it doesn't hurt their brand. It doesn't hurt their image. It doesn't hurt their sales, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if we know also what has happened with Eugenia's videos on YouTube, this makes perfect sense. The fact that people are talking about Eugenia on a forum-based website such as Reddit and they're receiving strikes um, kind of makes me think that maybe Eugenia and her legal team are going around trying to find anything on the internet that is negatively said about her or portrays her in a negative light, and they're trying to go after people legally. <sighs> Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. With everything that I just went through with Alicia Doherty and her lawyer and everything like that, like I am so tired of this BS. I am so tired of this shit of people being talked about online and instead of just owning their shit or making a response to what I have to say or to what other people have to say, these people getting their lawyers involved and like, you know, oh, this isn't fair use. Oh, this is fair use. That's not transformative. You can't use their foot. Like, I'm, I'm so sick of it. I'm really tired of it. Um, and when I received all of those false copyright strikes and everything, like I was shocked that Eugenia didn't do it to me because I have, you know, read in the community that Eugenia has or, you know, it's been alleged that a Eugenia has gone after other YouTube accounts that are saying and showing clips of her that are portraying her in a negative light. So this whole copyright battle with lawyers and like, I mean, it, it's so tired. It, it's so rotted. I'm so sick of it in, honest, in all honesty, but I mean, this is what people do. This is what people do. Rather than just own their shit or rather than just talk about it, make a response. No, no, no. Try to get their accounts deleted. Try to get their accounts taken down. Try to scrub this from the internet. If you see anybody talking about it on any kind of website, you need to report that website and get it taken down. Like, 
I, it, it, it's, it, it's just insane. It's insane. So Eugenia, um, if you don't know, has hired some company by the name of Superbam uh, to privatize slash copyright all of her videos. That's why we don't see vlog reactions from me anymore. Remember when I used to do vlog reactions to all her past videos of when she went to the beach and when she played golf and when she did, did like, she, when she did like the gardening vlog with Deb and stuff like that. Um, well, I don't do those kind of videos anymore. One, because she doesn't upload those kind of videos, so there's nothing for me to react to. But two, I wouldn't be able to do retro reacts to those kind of videos anymore because she has now gotten lawyers and like a legal team involved so that people can't use her footage like that. I mean, I don't understand how you... <laughs> I don't understand even like how you would get your... YouTube video copyrighted like that, but apparently you can pay to have this done. Um, so, I mean, we have seen this happen to me on live stream. We have watched old videos of Eugenia on my live stream before and midstream, my uh, account, like, you know, it gets yanked and it's like, oh, this is copyright material. You can't stream this. <sighs> So, I mean, you know, I just, like, want to make it aware to everybody that this is the kind of shit that goes on behind the scenes. This is the kind of shit that content creators have to deal with. And, I mean, not even content creators, just, you know, very regular people on the internet who want to talk about things. They're having people come after them and, you know, thrown cease and desists in their face and all, the, all these threats and everything. Like, this, this would not hold up. You can't bully people into taking down content and shit like this. Like, it, I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it from a content cre uh, content creator point of view and everything. But yeah, this is what's going on. This is what's going on. So, I mean, you know, I, I don't really even show clips of Eugenia that aren't TikTok related anymore. But shit, guys, I don't know at this point. You know, is she going to start copywriting her TikTok live streams? <laughs> I, I really don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, is she going to send privacy complaints to anybody that talks about her? <sighs> All right, everybody. I think that that is going to be it for today's episode. I know that we usually go a little bit longer, but I think that what we're going to do is get back into some of the old retro reacts of the TikTok content next week. This weekend is uh, the anniversary party, I believe. So we are going to cover the anniversary party, any footage that is taken from the anniversary party if they go live. So we have that to look forward to this weekend. Um, please let me know what you thought of this video and any of the topics addressed. Would love to see uh, some discussion take place below and see what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.